This conference will now be recorded. Last class, we've been talking about data management. We have seen the various aspects of data management, how the data administration has to be done. Now today, we will talk about email administration. The first thing that we start in the email administration is called communication template. So put down a big heading called as email administration. Email administration. Now, if you remember that whenever a new customer get created, let's say that lead got created or a contact got created or an you know, account got created, right? you want your sales rep to send an email, a communication email, right? Welcome to welcome the customer. Now, definitely if you give this to the sales agent that write your own email, what will happen? Everybody will start writing in their own English. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Right. I don't want this type of things to happen. Right. I want because mine is a branded company and I want people should use a standard template. They shouldn't be writing their own emails. The email should automatically be created and right to be sent. Currently, we will see manual sending. As we go to the automation class, we will see how to automatically, as soon as a lead is created, I want an email to go, thank you for registering with, you know, uh, Kaplan Info Technology. I want an automatic email to go. Now, we will do it manually. So first, what I'll do is that, right, right, make sure that you have an image available, right, image. What is that company logo? Your client logo. Suppose you are implementing for implementing it for Apollo Hospital. Let's take an example that you are implementing this whole project for Apollo Hospital. First, make sure that you have an Apollo Hospital logo available with you, right? A P O L O Apollo, A P O L L O Apollo H O S P I T L Hospital logo. I will say Apollo Hospital. Right, let's see what other things I get. Right, I click on images. This will give will be given to you by your designing team. In real time, you don't create these logos, you don't create these logos, or you don't create these images. These images has to be given to you by whom? By your designing team. By your designing team. For example, let me check this out. Okay, this looks good. Right click, save the image as. Save the image as. Where? Which folder? Let's say that OF101. Are they site? I will say Apollo. Apollo Hospital, whatever it is. Let's save it. I will see a couple of images. Whichever is nice, looking good. Right, Apollo Hospital. Let's go. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's say this. I right click, I click on save as. Right? These, suppose they you want to create a marketing email. All the content of marketing, right? Images, right? Colors has to be given to you by your, right? By your client. Client will give you. Apollo Hospital logo. Whatever you need, LO Geo logo. People might be thinking that what exactly I'm doing. Wait, you'll understand in a few minutes. Things will be completely clear. Wait, let's see that. This looks to be good. I don't know how big this image is. Make sure that the image is small, 19.0 by a very big image. Right, I want some small images. It's also big, right? I click here, right, 840 by something. I'm looking for something in 300, right? Okay, 324 by 150, save. I'm just taking some small images, logo new. Now, I have downloaded a couple of images, right? First thing, what we will do is that, right? You will shift or you will move to classic environment, right? You will go to your classic. Remember that all communication templates are classic and lightning. There are two types of templates available. 
However, the classic templates are also supported in Lightning. Now, wait, what exactly I'm talking about, right? You will see, just keep waiting. So scroll down, look for documents, wherever write documents, look for this document. Click on new, say Apollo IMG one, give a name, right? Check this box. The email is the email image is externally available. Why? Because you will be sending an email and in that email this image should go. It is going out of your organization. So hence it should be externally available image. Choose the path. Where is the path? I will say OF101. Correct. Here it is. I'm choosing the first image. I click on save. My first image got loaded to my documents. My first image got loaded to my documents. Wait, it's coming up. There we go. The image got loaded in Salesforce. Right, once again, switch to classic. Click on this plus sign. Scroll down. Look for, look for my documents or documents. Here it is. Click on new, give a name, AP Apollo image two. Check external, click on choose file, select the second image, click on save. It's uploading the image to your documents. There we go. We upload our second image, too big, fine. Third one. Plus, scroll down, look for documents, click on new, say Apollo image three, externally available, right? Either internal or external, I'll say external. Choose, I will choose the third logo, this one. I click on save. All the three images provided by me, provided to me by the client or by my designing team is now uploaded in Salesforce. Now this got uploaded in Salesforce, right? Step one is done. Next, what is the step two, right? So, and click on setup, I'm showing you in classic. Under classic, it is available under communication template. Here it is communication template called as letterhead, email template. Letterhead, email template. Letterheads, email template. Same thing now I'm switching to lightning. Where it is available? It is available under email management. So I'm switching to lightning, right? Under the email, you will be able to see classic template, letterhead. Classic email template, letterhead. Same thing is available under communication templates in classic, right? Same options are available under email. Now, first step, we are going to learn letterhead. Letterhead, what is a letterhead? Everyone knows it's an official format. All your relieving letter, your your you know offer letters are printed in a white paper. No, they are printed on the company letterhead. Apollo Hospital on the top. Dear your name, it will be printed like this. Right? Your relieving letter, your experience letter will be not on a white paper, but it will be on a company letterhead. What is a letterhead? Write down, put a heading called as letterhead. Those who are writing the notes. Start taking the notes. Letterhead. Letterhead. Right? Letterhead. Predefined design. Predefined design or structured design for an official communication. Predefined design or structured design for an official communication for an official communication
for an official communication is called letterhead is called letterhead i click next i click on email i click on letterhead i click next i click on new letterhead i give a name called as lh letterhead 2020 right i will say apollo hospital all right apollo hospital letterhead lh 2020 this is the official for all official communication i will check this box called available for use click on save it will open a designer page where you can see the header the body and the footer header body footer header header body footer three areas i go to the header area i say select logo if you remember that we uploaded this logo in our documents it's available here i click on this and automatically in the letterhead my logo comes in my official letterhead i can put apollo hospital here but let's assume that i'm taking this as a logo right then you have a line color you can decide the color which color you want apollo hospital green somewhere like this right i say okay what is the pixel i will say eight pixel thick line one thick line will come next the body body also i want a color what color apollo color match right can i use hexadecimal colors yes you can go to www.google.com you can use html right html color codes see here you can now design your own color shades i can drag ah apollo apollo green is the screen this green this green this green copy this color code control c come here click on body color remove this code and put your code click okay color changes photo do you want to place something i will say select logo from where from this one but actually this should be in the top that should be in the down okay let's do remove logo select logo this is what i loaded in the first step if you remember my document logo i want this logo to be in the center edit property left right center top middle okay this is how my letterhead will look here i will say remove logo select logo and i will select the one this one bottom is this now this is my letterhead plain letterhead line yes here also i will give apollo green and it will be 8 or 10 10 i click on okay right right you can see that this is my letterhead to be you want to see how your letterhead looks click on preview this is my letterhead will look logo on the top here in this green my matter will be written i can write any matter let's say that it's a marketing template 
right this is how the letter has to go actually you will design as per the design available towards the bottom it will be address right apollo hospital registered office chennai right it will be simple but i'm just creating something some you know this can be used for marketing template also as a marketing email dear customer we are happy to announce some offers for you i want the email to go like this apollo hospital with the image of apollo hospital like this right there we go all looks good i click on save a letter had got created a letter had got created edit property why this is okay if you have not checked on available for use you can again edit property and you can click on available for use only if it's available for use then only you can use it otherwise you cannot use this letter i click on edit letterhead here i will say that right background color also we will give right we will give the background color okay it look like this let's say that here also we will not copy the same color we will give the same color everywhere okay save this is how our letterhead will look all same color line color is same so it's looking like this oh no it's not looking good you can make a change line color let's put it black black save it look like this apollo hospital and then perfect all these image settings you can see that the background is white for this image this has to be set by the designing team we will not break our head they will give you the, all the resources and you will create a letterhead letterhead is created step 1 is done we created a letterhead i say next we created a letterhead called as what apollo hospital lh2020 everyone clear we created a letterhead a structure a design how to create a letterhead everyone clear we have to go ahead first save the image yes, in my sir. document and create a letter head now i want to create a template a marketing template a welcome template anything i will click on new do you want to create a plain h text template no i want to create an html template using letter head or custom without using letter head blank page or visual force programming i will say no html i click next system will ask you what is the name i will say welcome welcome new lead new new leads or new contacts what do you say contacts welcome new contacts what is the letterhead you will use apollo letterhead what is the email layout here you have lot of right you layouts click on this it will tell you the layouts formal letter like this three sections promotional letter like this designs you see the designs promotion left newsletter product letter whichever you like we will go with free form letter open no i want to go with a formal letter i'll select formal letter right you have to type the description to welcome new c o n t a c contacts created i click next don't give the subject keep it blank now there we go your letterhead loads your letterhead loads with some body structure first thing is subject dear i want customer name to be here automatically contact yes contact oh no contact fields select what select customer first name first name first name first name first name should be in the top uh, 
I am not able to see. Oh, contract, no contract, contact, contact fees. Select first name, customer first name. Press Control C, copy and paste here. Dear first name space. I want the last name. Last name, last name, last name. Here is copy, paste here. Dear Karina Kapoor. Dear Abhishek Bachchan. Dear Narendra Modi. First name, last name. I will say welcome to Apollo Hospital. See, automatically system will pick up the field name from the table. Here I will say welcome email. I will say welcome to welcome to the exciting world. Welcome to exciting curing and wellness world of Apollo Hospital. Highlight this. I want bold. I want underline. I want to change the size 10 pixel. I want center. I want to change the color to red. Woof. Lead is stinking the ice. Right. I will take this color, highlight it. From here, I will take I will take orange. Welcome to the exciting. Ah, uh, that's also hitting the eyes. Take white. Welcome to the exciting world. I don't want anybody to change this locket. I click on lock. I click on OK. It locked. That means end user cannot change this. End user cannot change this. Dear, I'm writing the email now. Dear, contact last name. I want the first name. From here, pick it up. First name, Control C. Dear, Abhishek. Bachchan, dear Narendra Modi, dear Amit Shah, first name, last name. Whoever created this contact, I want his name. Created by Control C. I want this to be bold. Here, phone number has to come. Customer phone number. Choose from here. This is the field selector. What do you want? Mobile number. Control C. Here is my mobile. Paste. Next. 
what else we have phone control c phone email the customer email has to be populated here email email control c see how i am creating a letterhead i am writing a welcome email wherever i want the customer data right it will be a personalized email it will be a personalized email if ma whenever karina kapoor will receive she will receive dear karina kapoor right subject also we have set everybody is able to understand do you want to lock this no any any content here no nothing i can say we add the sign right you can you can add an image yes sign it you can add here say add an image right you want to put a signature put a signature the signature also has to be loaded first right yes you can add your signature here right let me see whether any signature is there or not right okay hmm let us see if it's there we will do it here it is my signature scanned copy right okay right yeah. okay so let's do one thing let's upload it fine somebody wants to put a signature no so right click open a new tab i'm opening a new tab i switch to classic i switch to classic somebody wants my signature there right so plus go to the document new s i g n excellent available choose c drive rupam personal signature 1 say it populates a signature scanned copy now i come here you want the signature here put click on insert image sign it's too big so that means i have to i have to reduce the signature first all these things you have to come and you have to do before you cannot do it here you cannot do an editing you cannot resize you cannot right you cannot resize you cannot resize this see delete i have deleted so you can put whatever you want you have insert image there you can insert an image clear everyone how i am creating a communication template yes right anybody has any questions yes. all good able to understand yes or no yes sir yes that's good now that's really good so i will say next if a company if a company if a customer decide they don't want any type of html based email they want a text email then what then i'll say copy same matter welcome to dear this we are happy same matter but without any background without any color without any image right there are there are few companies who receives only email in text so i said that's safe my letter had got created can i use it no because available for use is not yet activated can we test and see yes let's do one thing 
let's go to contact. Let's pick up a contact here, Katrina Kef. Do I have an email address for Katrina Kef? K at the red K dot com. Phone number not there. I'm entering the phone number, right? Five five five. Right? Phone number, mobile number. I click on save. I come here. Let test it. Send a test. Which contact? I will say Katrina Kef. Pick up Katrina Kef. Send a send a preview copy to my email address. Okay. Now let's open our Gmail. See, dear Katrina Kaff, welcome to Apollo Hospital. Look safe. Welcome to the exciting curing wellness. Dear Katrina Kaff, automatically system has picked up the name. Your phone number 555, your mobile number 888. See? This mail that we designed, this is how the customer will receive. This is how the Apollo Hospital patients will receive. If all looks good, come here. In a mailing system, sir. Sorry, uh, can we add the location? What location? Mm, suppose destination location, like you have to come and join here. This location has a particular location. Right, right, right. In the mail, you can put anything. Who is stopping you to write anything? If you want, create a field called as location. While creating the contact, customize, create a field called location. Enter Hyderabad, Chennai. And call that field here the way I'm calling the name. I'm calling first name, last name. Contact there. This is how the email will look. You can do anything now, right? Don't think that you need to specially ask me whether I can I insert a location. You can insert your name also here. Whatever the fields that are available in contact, you can insert it. So that means if I if I want to create a location, first create a field called location, then use it here in the letterhead. Who is stopping you? Who is stopping you? Clear? Right? Now I click on right what edit properties. Make sure that it's available for use. Check this box. Available for use. Safe. Done. How the end customer will now create it? What the end customer will do? This is a admin work. This is how an admin will create an email template. Like this, you'll create so many email templates for opportunity you'll create. Your opportunity has been registered with us. You will create a code template. The following code, please find the code attached. Right, case template. Your case has been registered. Like this, you'll create so many templates. The way you can see that I created a template called as welcome new contact. Now, how the end user will use it is a question. I right click open a new tab. I'm opening an end user tab. End user tab. End user will go to their app. Click on view all. Open the sales app. They'll open the sales app. They will go to whenever a new contact got created after conversion when welcome email has to be sent. For example, we have to send an welcome email to who? Ramcharan. They will open the Ramcharan records. They will click on email. Right? Rather than writing an email here, what they will do? They will click on this plus sign. Here, this icon. Insert template. See, welcome contact is available. They will click on it. Immediately insert. The template got inserted here. Dear Ram Charan, they will just scroll down and they will click on send. Gone, boom. We have sent a welcome email to Ram Charan. We have sent a welcome email to Ram Charan. We have sent a welcome email to Ram Charan. See? Like this, they will start using it. 
they will not write their own email they will use the template for welcome one template for welcome one template for follow up one template like this business will give you so many templates and you have to create a template like this how you have to go you have to click on classic email template and you have to create a template everyone clear how to create a email template two step number one create letterhead number two create template right everyone understood yes right now write down the homework i'll keep on giving you the homework at the site create a case template for all newly registered case create a create a case template create a case email template for all newly created case to inform customer so you have to create a template where right user can go ahead and just automation will do later automatically sending currently manual after creation of case they have to send the letter manually we will do it later as soon as the case is created immediately what will happen the letter will go out that we will do later that will do later understood everyone can yeah, you do this homework for create a case template right, right. Case case template. template it's a case for intimation you. template for uh, whenever a case is registered okay right if somebody files a complaint with us a one email should go out saying that thank you for registering your complaint your case number is this your case subject is this this case has been assigned to this person right you will be expecting these are the following details or you have given us and we are working on the case you will get back or we will get back to you at the earliest right everyone able to understand okay. that's good how to create a templates next so this is the way you will create a template next compliance bcc every email that goes out of goes out of salesforce i want a copy has to go to audit at the rate a u d i t audit at the rate a p o l l o apollo dot in user will never even know that every email that they are sending whether it's a welcome email whether from the salesforce they click on email they type something they click send one copy will automatically will go to this inbox to this email address i can say right rupam dot sfdc 80 at the rate gmail.com compliance email every email that goes has to go to this inbox mandate can i enter more than one no right it says addresses that means yes i can add more right i say comma rupm rupam dot c at the rate gmail dot com if i click on save right error okay not comma colon save error even though you it says compliance addresses but it takes only one you cannot give more than one so every time an email is sent from your organization complete organization if there are 10 lakh users all 10 lakh users sends email all the 10 lakh email will go to this box one copy will go to this box blind copy bcc right automatically all the outgoing email will be bcc to this same everyone clear what is the compliance bcc every email that you send will go from this particular inbox compliance bcc next exception email what is an exception email right you created a project you delivered the project to your client apollo after testing sign off is done 
deployment was over <coughs> Apollo started using it Suddenly one of the user Apollo got an error What he will do he will raise a ticket Now what was the error that you got? Right, how do you know what error he got? Send me a copy to this email address Rupam dot sfdc80 at the rate gmail.com Send me a copy to the email address Any type of error happens Programmatical error any type of programmatical error happens on the screen Immediately system will send a copy to the email address So that as soon as the end user raise a ticket you can come and check this inbox Okay, actually because you know that the user is a non-technical He is a nurse he or she is a nurse She will say You know Payment not working She will raise a ticket, but you don't even know what exactly happened You can come to this box and you can check it what error did you did, did today we did we did Apollo had any error today? Yes, all those errors will be in this box then In this box the error will be error will be shown Any type of technical errors Happening in the end user one copy will be sent to the email address. You can also include users Okay, send to the administrator name Send it to Rupam Save you can add more Add one by one you can have to add right send it to Rupam and Rahul They're the system admin. They should be knowing what's happening at the end user screen Similarly, you can give an external email address. Why external? Apollo is using You are the support you are HCL employee You are supporting Apollo Right, so are you an internal employee of its internal employee of Apollo hospital? No you are an IT guy Right your team developed the software they handed over the software to Apollo hospital Apollo is using that software While using there was an error while using there was an error While using there was an error So what you can do you can put here Apollo hospital project at the rate HCL dot in There are three people supporting from HCL the Apollo tickets Apollo issues there are three people supporting from Apollo Right in that case what you can do you can give an email address It's an external because it's not it's no more an Apollo email address. It is an HCL email address In a production environment any error happens. I want this to go to HCL so you can enter the name here Any email address and any type of error happens if there are hundred Apollo employees using the software and any one of them receives an error Immediately that will be sent to these two people along with this to this email address Whatever the email address that you get save Apex exceptional email Apex exceptional email Right so Apex exceptional email any type of errors prop Coding errors, right? Application getting error will be notified to this following users as well as to this email address. Email template for any type of communication. Letterhead, it's a structure, structured communication of a company. Compliance BCC, every outgoing email will be copied to a location. Compliance BCC. Next, next, email footer. Email footer Every email that goes I want Right towards the bottom. I Want one disclaimer to go This email is a property of Apollo hospital if you have received this email by mistake Please delete all the unread copy and notify the admin immediately Apollo hospital is not responsible for any virus transmitted through this email Every email I want to put this disclaimer in official email you'll have this So let's go ahead. I click on new Or you click new here meaning is same new What is that I will say disclaimer? A P U L Okay, 
AP Apollo disclaimer. Apollo disclaimer. Is it valid for single email? Yes. Mass email, whenever you are sending to list 10, 10 people, 20 people, 100 people. From here, select the UTF-8. This is an encoding. Now you can say disclaimer. Disclaimer. This email A long condition I'm writing. Oh. I will say save. For single email, yes, use this. For mass email, yes, use the same one. Click save. Done. Next time any email goes out of the Salesforce, system will add that message. For example, you want to send an email to Amitabh Bachchan. It will take little time, guys. Somebody clicks on email. He writes an email. Personal email he's writing. Hi, 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 A M I T H. Amitabh, how are you? Hi. Remember that automatically a compliance mail will go to my email address. Backend. There is no BCC. Nobody knows, but if I click on send, one email has been sent to Amitabh Bachchan. Now I'll be receiving that email because every email that goes out of Salesforce has to see. And you see that disclaimer is coming up. This email is the property of Apollo Hospital. If you have received this email, This is called disclaimer. Whether you send a single email, whether you send a template, right? Compose. I will click on template and I will say welcome. Insert. I will click on send. I didn't even look. Let's see. One copy will come here. See, dear Amita Bachchan, welcome to Apollo. Towards the bottom. Can you see the disclaimer? Here, what we just did. This is the one. Email footer. Email footer, which I've just written. Every email towards the bottom, one footer will go. We call it as email footer. Email footer. Clear? Yes. Email footer. Yes, sir. Right. Next. Next. Sometime you get an email from customer care. Customer care. Apollo customer care. Do you feel that it comes automatically? No, somebody is sending that email. They have created an email address called as customer care. We can we can also create by using organization wide address. With this option organization wide address one email address which can be used by my employees for example i'll click on add what is the display name i will say apo apollo
right apollo hospital customer care display name what is the email address rupam dot sfdc80 at the rate gmail.com who can access this email all profile no only hospital admin administrator can access i click on save one verification email has been sent it seems verification request was sent let's go ahead and check verify your organization wide email address here it is new organization wide email address that means everybody can use it everybody means whoever has a system admin profile if there are 20 users 20 users can send mail behalf of this email address now i say activate continue thank you for verifying perfect i close it next time when you come you refresh it will say verified it will say wait verified now what exactly we did let's go to the end user work end user wants to send an email to amit shah amit shah doesn't have email address so first let us update the email address phone number 44444 mobile number 555555 email address amit at the rate shaha.com i click on save the user come and click on email and he clicks he writes an email or he clicks on plus this template he doesn't want to send from his email address he want to send from customer care can you see here here they should be able to choose one more email address the way you seeing rupam chakravarti here he should be able to see customer care here they should be able to see customer care right contact it's not yet come it's taking little time let us see contact amit shah email here i should have one more it's taking time guys it will come here i can select customer care and amit shah will receive an email from customer care that means you created an email address which can be used by multiple profile anybody who is system admin and supervisor 888 can use this email address label of the email address is called apollo hospital customer care they can use it and they can send the email clear it will be there by the end of the class in another 15 minutes you will see that once again i'll go there and i would be able to send email not of not from my name but from the customer care name so every call center agent will send the we will not he will not send an email to customer using their own email address they will send the email using customer care email address by using customer care email address by using customer care email address and these email addresses are called as organization wide email address organization wide email address something you know if i go to my real time i keep on getting email from where you see that major alert right i get a major alert right i get this see salesforce daily chatter no reply at the rate chatter.salesforce.com see from where i'm getting the email address no reply at the rate but somebody is sending whether it's a system or it's a person right somebody is sending this email these are called generic email address or organization wide email address right multiple people using the same email address if there are 100 call center agent all the 100 will have, will have an authorization to use customer care customer care at the rate apollohospital.com 
right all the th- all the hundreds can send email to their customer from that inbox not from their personal email box they don't want to share the personal information they will send the email from customer care at the rate apollo.hospital.com and you can create like this in real time we call the mass right organization wide email address similarly if a customer says i didn't receive if if a, if your client says an employee comes to you with a ticket i'm not receiving salesforce email i'm not receiving salesforce email right no i don't get any salesforce email because okay let's check put the email email address of that particular person who is complaining click on send 16 test messages were sent how many 16 16 you can expect up to 32 sometimes 20 sometimes 24 sometimes 26 sometimes 30 16 email now ask the employee hey did you receive 16 emails wait it's coming up slowly slowly i should have 16 email from different different ip address 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 10 11 i received only 11 till now till now i have received how much only 11 only 11 i have received 11 it will take time it will send you 16 100 percent will send you 16 it will send you 16 it will take little time and if you have not received 16 email suppose he says no wait for 24 hours did you receive 16 emails no actually i just received 10 only or 15 only i didn't receive 16 take this all the ip addresses 101.53.164.233.223.217.216.218.209.214 it's coming up guys new see slowly slowly it's coming up see now count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 i receive 14 i receive 14 i still need to receive two more oh there we go 15th there we go the last one new the last one new came up 16 there are 16 email addresses 16 email that i have received now you can count 16 email address i have received 16 email from different ip address these are your salesforce server if you have received 16 email perfect your email is working perfectly fine your email is working perfectly fine if you have received 16 email your yes your salesforce email incoming is perfectly fine we do it from test derivability derivability we can check whether the email is getting delivered or not to test whether salesforce is able to send the email or not whether are you receiving all the emails or not if somebody complains you test like this if somebody complains this is the way you test right if somebody complains this is the way you test clear this is the way you test right done next next right next dkm keys don't touch this don't create any keys these are encryption keys in real time also we don't touch every key will be assigned to an outbody email right if you forget the key then not a single email will go out in real time we don't touch these keys next deliverability first of all do you want in your company 
right people should be able to send email through salesforce yes or no if no come here change it to no access nobody can send email from salesforce for this particular company neither rupam neither sachin no one i will say okay yes only system emails only alert system email will go out any custom emails like creating hi amitabh bachchan how are you will not go i say all email it will go now we have been sending email to right whom amit shah a at the rate s dot com karina kapoor k at the rate k dot com where this email going anywhere no right show the bounce alert next to the instance of the email in contact whenever the email bounces back immediately in front of the contact email you will be able to see one yellow exclamation mark saying that this email address is not available we have sent an amit shah an email right you can see that amit shah did we sent right by the way let's check whether our organization wide email address has come or not right i click on email yeah it has not yet come it will take time now anyhow you are sending to amit shah or you have sent a email to karina kapoor you have sent a email to abhishek bachchan ram charan katrina kaif k@k.com this email address is bounced obviously when i click on right this email address in front of this email address you will get an yellow exclamation mark see what are the email that you have sent right it will it will show you a bounce management for example today we sent to ram charan yes question please right unopened it will bounce as soon as it bounces system will read and it will show you a question mark here when you click on details in front of the email address when you click on details in front of this r@r.com there will be yellow exclamation mark saying that this is incorrect email address if you try to send an email it will not allow you to send an email saying that this email address is not correct because the last email bounced first correct the email address then only you can send an email that's what we are doing it from here bounce so bounce alert next to the instance of the email address return the bounce email to the sender whoever is sending the email right it will come to your gmail now it will come to your gmail sending from salesforce the email bounced the bounce email will go to gmail now bounce email right bounce email will go clear next don't disturb all these things enforce email privacy settings no lot of settings will get activated you will not be able to send email right enhance compliance with the standard email mechanism let it be checked don't disturb it allow sender when the mass email completes whenever a you know notify the sender that means you are sending a mass email in marketing in contact in lead you have a list email there you are sending an email to 30 people 40 people when all the 40 email sent it will inform it will inform you saying that email sent is done don't come and disturb this tls settings required verified no leave it as it is leave it as it is leave it as it is next email attachment whenever you are sending any email with an attachment if it's less than 3 mb then the attachment will be attached the email and will be sent if it's more than 3 mb what will happen the email will go as a link not as an attachment in a google drive anything about 25 mb get attached to the google drive and it goes as a link not as an attachment go and check it out send an email from your gmail to someone else in another gmail and let the attachment be more than 30 mb what will happen immediately system will upload them in a google drive and a link will be attached to the email actually the file is not getting attached whoever will receive the email will click on that link and the file will get downloaded 
from where not from the email from the google drive same thing is here anything which is less than 3 mb it will go as an attachment anything more than 3 mb a link will be created a link will be sent right no irrespective right include the attachment to salesforce to the size what is the size of email how much how much is the size of email attachment in a email how much mb you can attach in salesforce find it out 5 mb or 25 mb i'm giving you a choice 5 20 25 5 10 20 25 choose it or always as a link don't send any attachment as attachment every time upload the attachment in salesforce server and then create a link in the email put that link so that people can download by default this is the option by default this is the option next email delivery settings don't do anything here right don't create a domain filters don't create a relay right it'll ask you what are the domains which domains to be filtered out which demo domains to be taken in don't do email relays don't create any relay servers these are not your work port number through which port the email will go tls port port numbers we don't know this technical so we will not do anything don't worry these are default created so we don't touch this email delivery settings not your cup of tea you have seen right email footer now what are the things we have seen serial was i'm going exceptional email any error happens in the end user will be notified to the list of people listed here and the email address classic email templates templates to notify customer letterhead structured compliance bcc compulsory every email that goes out should go to this box dkim i am key dkim key right encryption key for outbound messages we don't touch deliverability whether the email has to be delivered bounce management activation all these are been set up from here right email attachment whatever the attachment that's going through the email whether you want to include them as a link or you want to include them as an attachment we do it from here email footer every email that goes out i want a default subject towards the bottom we create email footer next organization wide email address every email right right every email that goes out i want it to go out from a customer care box we will create an organization wide email address and we will give an access based on profile only those set of users can now send behalf of customer care they can send email to customer we call them as organization email address test deliverability to check whether the email is getting delivered from the salesforce customer complaints right you said hey i sent you an email from sales no no i'm no i don't receive an email and first of all i don't receive any email from salesforce customer or let's say employee complaints you can come and you can put the email address here and you can test it up to 32 emails it will send in our case it sent 16 16. email email through an external service not used in real time we don't send email through gmail do you feel that if you're apollo hospital they'll be using gmail you can on off on off on off on and off do you want to send an email through office 365 no in real time we don't send any in real time gmail is not used in real time every company will have their own email addresses if you're working for hcl you will not have a at gmail.com you'll have hcl.in hcl.com apollo.com apollo.in so no use no use no use gmail integration no use in real time do you want gmail integration in real time do you think that gmail will be integrated in real time no first of all in real time gmail will be blocked because gmail is a public email unsecure anybody can hack your account so in real time this gmail integration and sync doesn't work 
right but it is possible i mean that can be done yeah. i mean yeah. yeah that's what it's going on see currently it's checked that's the reason right our our uh, email is getting synced i'm sending behalf of gmail right from salesforce i'm sending email how it's going whose email address from whose inbox it's going it's going from rupam.sfdc80 only via through gmail's inbox only it's going so yes, yes doesn't sir. have so by default you say that on i didn't do it i didn't turn it on but it is on because so features are available doesn't mean that in real time they will be used no we don't use this all gmails in real time real time will have customer email how to configure that we'll see tomorrow called outlook configuration in real time they will use outlook the way see i'm using outlook to receive all the emails inbox right all these emails i'm getting right all these emails i'm getting inbox am i using gmail no my official email how to connect an outlook that we'll see tomorrow so enhanced email right enhanced email right so what you can do is that every email that salesforce receive but before you do that you have to activate this called as email to salesforce what is the email to salesforce if you are using an outlook or you are using a gmail to send an email to g to a at the rate a.com i open gmail i'm not in salesforce guys by the way i'm deleting this delete i click on compose and i send a mail to whom a at the rate a.com dear amit shah right hope that you are doing good from where i'm sending this email from salesforce no from where from my email client which client gmail client same way i click on my official outlook i click on new i click on the new button and i type the email address right i said to whom a at the rate a.com subject hi and then i will start writing hi blah 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 if i click on send what will happen i am sending the email from outlook i am sending the email from gmail not from salesforce but if you enable this option called email to salesforce email to salesforce allows you to automatically log emails you sent from third party email account as an activity in lead and contact that means system will match with the email address a at the rate a.com email was sent immediately system will find where is a at the rate a.com it will go and check accounts it will check contacts and leads only two places here a a a a a there we go amita bachan immediately under this activity you will be able to see one email here a@a.com a@a.com looks like this email address is there so that somebody has opened it we are sending an email to a@a.com looks like that this email address exists in real see hi opened 25 minutes today only i sent today only somebody opened this email address exists it seems let's not send this email to us right from where i am sending i am sending from gmail but that sent email from gmail will come inside the salesforce the sent email from outlook will come to the salesforce if you enable email to salesforce right how from outlook it will come tomorrow we will see we have to install a software if you install that software whatever that means salesforce will be reading your outlook whatever the emails that you are sending from outlook if the email address matches that email will be automatically imported inside the salesforce here it is email to salesforce allows you to automatically log a email you send from third party email account as activity in lead and contact records in salesforce.com so that means if somebody thinks hey, i am not sending email from salesforce i am sending from outlook but still if you send from outlook the system will read your email and it will import it inside the contacts next time when you come and open Amita Bachchan, you will see. Ah, 
are this email i sent from outlook no how it came here because your admin has activated it by default it's not activated i say accept right i click on save do you want to notify all your employees i'll just skip the step it got activated so now from gmail anyhow gmail integration is sync so if you send an email from gmail it will come in salesforce tomorrow we will see outlook in the real time how in the outlook email sent from outlook how will it come in gmail sorry how it will come in salesforce for that now it will not come because outlook is not talking to salesforce so mr rom like this other uh, softwares are also available i mean for suppose yahoo no other mail. client oh, no no only gmail see in real time we don't use yahoo email we don't use rediff mail we don't use rocket mail right in real time we use mostly they will use if they are microsoft exchange server they will use outlook or they will use dominos lotus lotus dominos lotus is a end of life it's uh, people are everybody is using outlook 99% 99% you will see that outlook is being used even you can use outlook why are you going to gmail like this every time www.gmail.com right don't open internet explorer don't open firefox don't open chrome directly install outlook and configure your outlook to gmail all your email will start flowing like this in outlook can i do that yes you can so just go and type gmail out outlook settings it will tell you what setting you have to do check gmail through your other email platforms through outlook it will tell you what to do see setup servers are given port are given go ahead and watch a video you can configure your outlook to receive gmail rocket mail rediff mail if your yahoo mail comes in this outlook then automatically from outlook we can take it to salesforce salesforce <laughs> connects <laughs> outlook yeah. getting it so whatever might be your email address you might be using aol online you might be using you know you are in singapore and you are using you know dot uh, sg some email address salesforce cannot give integration to all these email addresses thousands and thousand domains are there in this world can they keep on adding one one domain no that is the reason they are saying right you configure your outlook and outlook whichever email comes in outlook whether it's a gmail whether it's a official email whether it's a hcl.com hcl.in apollo.in rocket email rediff email rediff mail whatever comes in outlook from outlook we will read the data and we will pass it to salesforce right for that for that what you have to do those who will download outlook will configure those who will download outlook and will configure will configure outlook to gmail and then you want your outlook to talk to salesforce has to click on this settings have to click on your beautiful pick click on settings scroll down look for desktop add-ons click on salesforce for outlook click on salesforce for outlook scroll down download the software here it is download it's downloading now see this is the piece of software that will connect outlook to salesforce i'm downloading 3.7 mb 4.1 4.4 mb it's downloading download is going on download install it but before you install you need to have an outlook like this all the email should come to outlook how to download outlook go to microsoft download microsoft outlook then how can i connect my outlook to gmail or rocket mail or yahoo mail you are using yahoo so y h yahoo right yahoo outlook setting see it will give you whole screenshot how to configure your yahoo with outlook you are using rediff rediff outlook setting see please follow the instruction you can set 
and all the you need not to go to web based email you can next time next time when you open outlook automatically all the email will start coming here it's a good actually start using outlook rather than you opening a, a chrome typing www.gmail.com then you know no here you can create your own folders like this see you can drag and drop an email like this right you can take a backup in your local drive these all are stored where in my local drive i can click on file right sorry i can click on home or i can click on new new outlook data i can click see outlook data file all the emails will be dumped there in the local machine you can take your local backup you can copy in the pen drive and next time after 10 years if you want to see your email you can open that from the pen drive and automatically email will be visible here exactly like this see i have my all my backups emia channel november 1025 see november 2017 right i have created lot of backups my personal backups are there email backups outlook is very easy use outlook rather than gmail i mean use gmail only but through outlook through outlook if you are using then you can download this software and you can connect tomorrow we will see how to control this how to connect outlook how to connect outlook to salesforce in that outlook your gmail hcl.in right whether it's right vishwajit.kulkarni at the rate is ch hcl.in vishwajit.k at apollo.com he is working for apollo finally he will use outlook only and the outlook will be connected to salesforce so whichever email domain you are in all those email domains are automatically connected to salesforce in single word so that's the goodness of salesforce see it's downloaded salesforce outlook i don't want to install it so if you want you can install under email management what are the things we have learned so far exceptional email email template letterhead bcc dkm keys don't touch deliverability email attachment email delivery settings right domain filters i told you don't touch email filter email to salesforce from where from third party email client that could be outlook also we have just enabled it active third party email account right enhanced email right by default is enabled enable it will create an api where it will get full fetch right emails will come gmail to email integration by default it's on but we don't need in real time right lightning email template the same thing that we created there on off on it's a folder you can create a folder template your personal folder folder and enhance and in that folder you can put your you know email template that's it nothing else mail merge template i want you to do a research on this what is a mail merge it's a microsoft word have you seen anywhere mail merge have you seen anywhere mail merge no no or yes yes no. i have seen in word in word open microsoft word on the top there is a mail merge is there i'm creating a see here it is mailing here it is start mail merge this is a word feature it's not a salesforce feature you can see that mail merge templates are microsoft word documents that merge with the reference of salesforce tomorrow i'll just show you but you have to do this homework we have seen organization wide address tomorrow we will talk about this outlook outlook integration right don't touch this send to external email service we don't do we don't use gmail or 365 i told you in real time we use this outlook and outlook integration only this two in real time so tomorrow's class will be completely dedicated for this because that's a, that's a real time use last one is called test deliverability this is how you control your emails in real time right this is the only controls that you can perform guys able to understand yes or no everyone yes yes, yes. right that's really good
right so let's meet tomorrow those who want to download outlook want to configure their outlook with gmail they can go ahead and download this outlook software and install it then you'll be able to see that the email is getting synced between the outlook and this right mr rupam uh, for yesterday's uh, day before yesterday's homework i'm not able to do that which one the, the you know the importing the case with the activities first import the case generate the case id with that id import activities it is a two step process you cannot do it in single go first import the case yeah then import the import the activity using the case id so i tried that but uh, do we have to use the task in that case i mean I, the second for second time we cannot use the object or we can use it any time i mean why not for step 2 also we have to use the object i mean in insert object right did, did anybody create it first time insert object second time also insert object second time um, also insert not update second time also insert i actually second time used the id of the lead right that's it id of the case uh, if you want to insert uh, a activity in a case yeah or, id of the lead and the owner id i have that's it done two time insertion you have to do two insertion one the lead insertion after the lead is inserted <clears throat> take the lead id owner id create a new file template upload it as an activity at the task with that what, right. what will be what will be in the csv file then uh, status i'm not able to understand owner id okay case id is fine but what will you insert I mean, the activity is different right it's not in the case oh, that's the reason you have to insert right activity is ev everywhere available so you have to give an id right whether this activity has to be linked with a lead whether this activity has to be linked with a case right which case if i say this has to be linked with a case then which case i have to give a case id right that means right service right let me go to the service right so case i created a case when i click a new button this is equivalent to uploading from an excel sheet right new button there also you can you can create a case case name right not happy right i click mm -hmm. on save right case origin is must while creating case so that two fields are must i created a case can you create a case using a data loader yes, yes it generated an id is. this yes. this is that id you need this id right whenever you are inserting a activity right right what i am doing here it is what do you want to do right right whenever you are doing any type of activities right in case related activity i click on new task or new event i click on new task here you see that status must not start it it is must subject you have to give right it related to here you have to give what the case id it is linked to which linked to the case id here you have to give the case id which are the field compulsory priority field is compulsory subject field is compulsory right which are the field compulsory this is compulsory so status not started not started not started subject call the customer call the customer call the customer priority normal 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 right id here is the id where is the case id case id is the one which i showed you here export 500502 and insert an activity done okay okay so the operation will be insert again okay insert yeah um, it will be insert again case okay i'll try that so try that okay okay yeah hey thank you guys have a nice and wonderful day right let's meet tomorrow right at the same time we'll meet so till then have a nice and wonderful day guys bye bye take care Thank you. Thank you, Marisa. Thank you.